In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Conklin All-American Demo Fountain Pen. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So this is the Conklin All-American Demo with gunmetal trim. And this pen was provided to me at no charge by Pen Chalet. Uh, pen Chalet is a pen store that I've been buying from since, I think, 2015. And I reached out to them to ask if I could review some of their pens. They gave me a list and I picked the ones that I was interested in, ones that I would personally buy for myself. So they did provide me this pen free of charge. I asked them because I like them and have had very good experiences with Pen Chalet. And anyway, I, I'm very grateful to them for sending me this pen for review. There are links to this pen in their store down below. Okay. So walking through the pen, we kind of have a, a typical torpedo shape. It is a little bit flatter here. It's not a flat top, but it's definitely not as pointy as some other pens that we might call torpedo shaped. It's clear at the, the end here, the finial, and at the bottom here. The clip is this nice gunmetal finish, Conklin here. It looks really nice quality. I, I really do like the look of this clip. One connection point here. And it does seem to be, oops, does seem to be spring loaded. Now, looking at the, the cap here, we do see some air bubbles. It just, it doesn't necessarily look dirty, but it's not super, it's not super clean looking. There is not like a separate inner sleeve in here. So inside the cap, it's all this, you know, high, they call it a high quality European resin. And it's, you know, handmade, not 100% sure with handmade means exactly. I know I can't quite focus in there, but basically that part that holds the nib kind of tapers in there a little bit. It's all completely clear here, more threading here. Back of the cap here, you can see that it says limited edition, and this is number 222 out of 898. Now coming down to the, the body, this trademark all-American, you know, Toledo, Ohio, which is where the, the brand was originally based. It looks it looks pretty nice. I, I do like that that touch. Now taking the cap off here, notice we have, I'm not sure what this is exactly, but I, I do see like air bubbles and then there's sort of, I don't know what that is. Is it like a grease or an adhesive that I'm seeing there? Just not exactly the cleanest looking demonstrator I've seen, I'll, I'll say. So clear threading here. It's really the whole body of this is all that European resin material. It feels pretty nice. It's pretty thick. So I do like that. And then I filled this with a red ink. So this would normally be clear, but with the, the ink going into the, the feed and the, the collar here at the grip section, it is looking more red. And then we have the nib here, which we can see Conklin Toledo USA. And it has this nice crescent shaped breather hole. And this is a stub nib. So the standard nibs that you can get are the OmniFlex nib, which is a semi flexible. And then they have broad, medium, fine, extra fine, and then this stubs. And these are Yovo number six nibs. So they're pretty easy to change out and they write really nicely. So taking the the body off, you can just see, I should try to clean that out. I just don't know what that is, but anyway, it, it did come like that. So this pen comes with a converter and it has sort of a matching metallic finish. I don't know if it's metal, but it has a gunmetal look to it. And I believe there's like a gold trim version, which also matches and a silver trim version where the converters all match. So that is a really nice detail that I do like. And then the threading here is all that gunmetal. It's really nice. I, I like that they did that. You know, compare it to a Opus 88, this is the Omar, you know, they have kind of a, a black trim, which is nice, but they didn't match the nib. And these are both actually Yovo number six nibs here. One thing that's interesting about this pen, I'll show you the, the box here, which I know I don't normally do, but nice sort of faux leather gift box here with stitching but it comes with a an eyedropper because they say you can remove the converter and just fill the pens so that the whole body 
will be full of ink. So this will hold a lot of ink. And I, I like that they, they do that. They give you the option. They also give you a blue and a black standard international cartridge. So a lot of filling options. I like that they give you two colors. I do think that is quite nice. And they show you, they call it direct filling instructions. So you can use it as an eyedropper. Let's do some measurements. Looking at roughly 145 capped millimeters, that is. Uncapped, looking at about 127, 128. This pen does post. I don't find that it posts, it does post securely. It doesn't always post perfectly straight though, so I don't necessarily like that part about it, but I used it posted and it's not, that's, that's not a huge deal. About 170 millimeters posted. Grip section. This is definitely a comfortable full-sized pen. Now it does taper a little bit and then flare out at the end. So I'm gonna go in the, the middle where it should be about the thinnest, 10.7. And then at the back here by the threads, 11.5. So nice full-sized grip section. This is a comparison. You know, here's an Aurora Optima. Definitely a big, thick grip section. So I, I really do like that. Very comfortable. Now in terms of weight, so 31.5 grams. Not super heavy, but definitely not light. As a comparison, you know, this is a Pilot Explorer, which is a plastic pen. This is more than twice the, the weight of that. It definitely has a, a more premium feel. It is a thicker resin, so definitely feels quite nice. Before we do the writing sample, doing this in a paper mind Mitsubishi bank paper notebook. This is a company that I started. These are really nice fountain pen friendly notebooks. Blake's broadcast viewers and subscribers get 10% off with code BB10 at checkout. All right, let's do the writing sample. So this is the Fountain All American Demo, and this is their stub, and this is Sailor Yodaki Inc. Let's try fast writing. Yep, that's flawless performance, really. These Yovo nibs, these modern Yovo nibs are super good performers. And I believe this is maybe a 1.1 millimeter stub. They don't say what the width is. Um, <laughs> it's basically about one. Just as a comparison, you know, this is a uh, Opus 88, and they specifically say this is a 1.5 millimeter. So it is. This is definitely a bit wider. I think this is the 1.1 millimeter. But anyway, it's quite a nice pen. Very very smooth writer. Um, you get a nice line variation even with that 1.1 millimeter width. It just works really nicely. Now, there's no real flexibility with this. You know, you can push on it a little bit and get some bigger lines, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's a stub, reverse writing, not really going to be a, a thing here. And as you can see, we're going to run out of ink here pretty soon. So it doesn't do reverse writing, but other than that, really nice flawless performance here so it's excellent so what are my pros and cons for the conklin all-american demo fountain pen the biggest pro for me is definitely the looks i really like the clear demonstrator body and i like the gunmetal trim they did a good job matching that with the the nib the clip and even the converter so very nice attention to detail there i, I really do like that i also like the number six yovo nib and this is the conklin branded one and it has the crescent breather hole which is very nice and it also comes in a lot of nib grades so you get the stub like i have here you get an omniflex option which is really nice and then you have the typical extra fine through broad so there's definitely something that will suit you in the lineup here so i really do like to see all those options that's excellent 
Now, I also like that they give you this nice converter, but then you also have an eyedropper so that you can fill the whole body up with ink. Now in terms of in terms of cons, I would say the main con is maybe the fit and finish of the European resin that they're using for this. It just doesn't look as clean as some of the other demonstrator pens that I'm used to like from Opus 88 or Twisby. That was something I definitely did notice with this pen. You know, in using it day to day, that did not bother me, but upon initial inspection, I did notice that it wasn't quite as crystal clear as some of those other brands that I mentioned. The other thing I would say is it's called the All-American. It is a historical American brand, but I don't believe they make these in America. I would of course like to have that happen but you know that would also make the price go up a bit and then the third item i would say is you know the price is retail 115 dollars although i've seen it on sale recently at pen chalet in the 50 dollar range now at 115 you have a lot of competition i do think that this looks really good it's a very good full-sized pen but that is definitely you know on the expensive side now in that 50 dollar range even if you know 80-ish range. I think this pen is really nice. That is pretty much it though. Do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below and if you like this video please hit that like button and if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much and until next time.